Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Monday the 10th of August 2020. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well first things first, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody, all the well-wishers, all my wonderful friends and acquaintances who were so kind to me throughout my entire birthday weekend. It was marvelous. I spent it with my husband and friends. We celebrated. I got wonderful cards and gifts and a red velvet cake. My ladies at church overwhelmed me with a surprise with our ladies' coffee meeting, and they turned it into a little surprise party for me. So thank you, everybody, for the overwhelming love that was poured out, the phone calls, the text messages, uh, everything. It was just remarkable. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And uh, also to my Take Two people out there for the thank you. If I, uh, I extend a thank you to you, too, for all the kindness and the love that you showed me. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about the word harmony. Now, harmony can mean a lot of things, but I think about church, and um, I stand, I don't play any musical instruments. Occasionally, I'll bang a tambourine or tap a drum, but primarily, my, my instrument is my voice. So, I sing at church, and standing right next to me is my good friend, Edie, and she sings with me, too. We're the two uh, vocalists in the church band. So, every time we get up there to practice, and then especially if we're learning a new song, we get our microphones, and we start singing, and it's just supernatural because this harmony just starts, we don't even have to say, okay, now this is what you do, and this is what I do when it comes to the harmonizing part, and of course we have to learn the lyrics, and we have to learn the tempo and all that, don't get me wrong, and who sings which parts, who sings the verses, who sings the chorus, etc., etc., but I'm talking about just when the words just start coming out of our mouths. It is so remarkable how I start singing, Edie starts singing, and the harmonies just blend together. And I think, isn't that wonderful? We just know. We just like can kind of tell what parts to take and, and who does the high and who does the low and who does the this and that. And it's it's just amazing and and. Fabulous is what it is. And of course, it's very blessed because it is uh, a song unto the Lord. So that gives it even more special, a special ring to it, if you know what I'm talking about. But what about just harmony in general in life? Do you have people that you can work with on a daily basis or family members that you say, you know what, there's just no harmony there. It's like we're constantly doing this when I'm hoping and praying that one day we could be doing this. You know, sometimes it's just natural. Like with Edie and I, when we get up there and we crack our mics, we are automatically in harmony. But it's not always been like that with different bands that I've sung in and different groups that I've been with, both secular and church groups. Uh, you know, it's not just reserved for the folks out in the world. Even in church, you can bash in sometimes. It's unfortunate, but it does. That just means that we have to take an extra bit of work to make sure that we could blend together and that we could be in harmony with one another. Well, the same is true in life. Sometimes you have to put in that extra bit of effort because you can't get along with everybody off the bat immediately as best friends. It would be ridiculous to imagine such a thing. That's why I'm glad that people do things like we'll take some um, uh, personality tests and things like that and they'll have focus groups in different businesses. Now I'm not saying there's a magic formula. Please hear what I'm saying. But sometimes if we understand that this person's brain works this way and this person's brain that works this way, well here you are trying to make them work side by side when one is going one way and one is going the other way and never the twain shall meet. So getting in harmony with one another is sometimes a little bit more extra work. So boys and girls, here's what I encourage you to do. Think about it long and hard if there are people in your life who, with whom you do this 
but you really want to do this, like co-workers, family members, maybe it's a parent and a child, maybe it's an adult child with, a, with an elderly parent, whatever it might be, take that extra time to understand and listen to what they have to say so that you can get a greater understanding of the way the brain is working. And I promise you, if you take that time to work through it, eventually there's a very good chance that you could go from this to this, okay? Now, go out and be a blessing to somebody today, okay? You may end up being the only one who is. And if being a blessing means going that extra mile so that you can understand how and ways that you could be in harmony with one another, please do that. And don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Ding! You'll be notified every time another Take Two is posting. All right. Have a wonderful and blessed and fabulous week. And your buzzword for the week, boys and girls, is harmony. Ah, I'll see you on Wednesday for Hump Day. I love you. Bye-bye.